Good morning, YouTube. So one question I've always had, and I've never found the answer for, is how much power does one of these little, this is a Z-Wave light dimmer, so how much power does one of these things use, and also does the power change when it's off or on? Because this thing is wired to AC power, it's got a line and neutral connection, so it's always on. There's a little power supply inside here and probably a little microcontroller. So this thing must take power. Here is my bench supply. Right now it's reading 0.6 watts. That's kind of its no load power reading. So let's plug in my light bar and that jumps from 0.6 up to one watt and the current went from 40 to 50 milliamps. So this device apparently uses about 10 milliamps of current and four tenths of a watt of power. So you're looking at about three, three and a half kilowatt hours a year to have one of these devices inside of an electrical box and not doing anything. So it uses four tenths of a watt just sitting there. Now what I'm gonna do, watch the light on the device, I'm gonna turn it on. I'll turn my light off. You can see the little red light is on there. So the dimmer is on, but it's not got any load on it. And it's using, let's call it 0.65 watts. Turning this on uses about another quarter of a watt. So that is an answer. I now know how much power one of these uses. Every one of these is four tenths of a watt continuous load and then another quarter of a watt to run the dimmer circuit inside. And then you can see when I turn the light bulb on, so you can see here's the light bulb running through the dimmer at 100%, so it's full brightness, 11.9 watts. Now this should be about the same, so I've turned the dimmer off. I'm powering the light bulb directly with the dimmer off, and the power went down that same roughly quarter of a watt. Let me try one thing here. I'm gonna unplug power to the dimmer and we'll see what the power is with just the light bulb only. Yeah, and so just to uh, double check those readings here, so I've disconnected the live wire that feeds the dimmer, and you can see we get back to the 0.6 watt no load reading, and if I turn on the lamp, it goes to 11.2, which is roughly 10.6 watt change. So that matches the power of the bulb. And that was 11.9 with the dimmer. So using a light dimmer with your bulb adds that six to seven tenths of a watt to the energy consumption. So there is a slight cost to using a dimmer with a bulb. Yeah, so let me show you the advantage to using a dimmer. So here I've got the dimmer back in the circuit. And let's flip my switch over to light dimmer mode. And we'll turn on my LED lamp. And the advantage of your light dimmer, one is you can dim your light, but also you can see now the power has dropped. So I've dropped from 11.9 to 6.9, so I've lowered the energy consumption of the bulb. And let's see, that's reading 6.9. The dimmer itself is reporting 5.6 watts. I have always wondered how much power does one of these use? They don't get hot or anything. It will use up a little bit of power. It's a little vampire load. It's not very high, but if you add 10 of these, instead of three and a half kilowatt hours a year, you're looking at 35 kilowatt hours a year. And if you had 100 of them, that would be a pretty big system if you had 100 light dimmers in a system or 100 Z-Wave devices. That's going to be on the order of a kilowatt hour a day. That is one question I wanted to answer with this little light bar, and it 
proved to be very easy to answer that question. I mean, it took just a minute or two to figure out how much power one of those uses. So I'll put this in my uh, home automation video series. You can check that out on my channel. Subscribe for updates. If you have any questions, put that in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.